Welcome back to Manda Plays Games. We are on the Chisholm Trail in the Oregon Trail game. Headed from San Antonio to Red River Station. We made it all the way to Austin. We are helping a team of drovers get their cattle to where they gotta go. Cooking menudo and stuff for them, so that's good. I guess I forgot when they handed me awful, which is the innards of an animal. I totally forgot that menudo is made with tripe, and that's fine. That's all. I was just like, ew, what are we going to do with this? Perfect. Although the fish heads, again, I have fish in my thing here. Why do I got to use the heads? So, let's do some... Do we have enough money to heal up Robert? He got shot last time. Uh, well, I guess we don't have money enough for it. Let's see if we can get a little bit of money. Trade. Oh, was I in the... Oh my god, was I in the barber and not the physician? No? Okay. I was like... For a second, I was confused. I just don't have enough money, probably. I can sell some fish, and that'll probably get me. Uh, sell fish. And let's see if we can haggle. Who's witty? Nope. Not Robert. I mean, he's fine, but... A dollar per fish? Ugh. Okay. Sell 50. Cause I need money uh, <laughs> and it looks like I still have 135 so we're fine let's get Robert healed up uh, 30 sure and another 15 no well um we might be able to buy some like medicinal herbs from the shop for their first coffee mm, let's buy this pay and leave yep okay is there anybody to talk to? George Glenn, Jacob Fontaine, and James Wheat. He's, I once drove cattle to Missouri with my old employer, Robert Johnson. But the local farmers turned us back for fear of the Texas fever. Now we're barred from entering the state altogether. We can't very well sell the cattle here. They're only worth $4 a head compared to the 40 in the Northeast. Yeah, we got a lot of cows here. We don't really need them. Chisholm's trail is the perfect solution. We can. Oh, he's the one that we're traveling with, right? He's one of our cowboys. Um, we can sell our cattle at the a Abilene Railhead without crossing into Missouri at all. Longhorns are immune to Texas fever. They still carry the ticks that spread the disease, but they're safe enough to transport so long as you don't mix them with other herds. Dog Jacob Fontaine. I used to work for Reverend Edwards, Edward Fontaine as his sexton, but a few years ago I decided that I needed to make a break from the white church. I began preaching to a black congregation in 64. Now alongside a number of women and men, I've chartered a new church for our community. It's the first of its kind in the city. Well, that's good. I moved here with my family from Arkansas. We're living near old plantation land, so the soil is good. I've even taken to raising corn. Yeah, in Kansas, that makes sense. Or Arkansas, I mean. Once I earn enough money, I'll be able to buy my own tract of land and found a little community. I already know a few people nearby who work as merchants and laborers. Okay. What about trading? 
29 bullets, 3 traps, 3 toolboxes. What do you want for this? Well, not Robert. Violet? She's a musician. Oh, okay. Oh, but she's charming. Um, one clothes. What do we got? What are we trading for here? Oh, we have ten. Yeah, we should be good. Let's do that. And... I think that should be all. Right? I don't really need flour. I have bullets. I have bait. I have coffee. I have fish heads. What more can a gal ask for? Okay. I think... I think we are good to move on. I mean, let's take a rest for one day. And then we'll boogie. No, I'm gonna... We'll just sleep in the wagon. Alright. We are fine. Let's depart. Let's leave Austin. Austin, Texas. Oh, see, she's always screaming at somebody. Now she's yelling at this poor guy. This guy back here is kicking his wagon. <laughs> and everybody's so cranky. See, this gal's got it, the right idea. She was just sitting there under the tree, enjoying life. Let's go to Waco, situated on the Brazos River. Brazos? Brazos. Waco has a major new bridge under construction. Ooh la la. Fancy. I mean, all I got is fish heads, but let's do this. With the bustling capital firmly behind them, the party is struck by the comparative peacefulness of the trail. Let's boogie. Oh, jeez, David. David lets someone cry of pain and clutches his leg, unable to move. It appears he has a cramp from overexertion. From the two and a half steps we've taken? Ah, stop and rest. The party pauses to give David some time to recover. After some time, the pain in David's leg abates, and he feels well enough to continue walking. Oh, I'm so glad. There's like some geese here. Greater sage grouse. Oh no, there's a dead cow or something. A bison lies in the tr oh, it's a bison. It lies in the dirt beside the trail and moving. It doesn't appear to have an external wounds or evidence of sickness, at least at a quick glance. However, further investigation may be necessary to determine the safety of the meat. No, don't ever eat an animal that you just find dead. The party decides to leave the carcass to the crows. If it had died directly in front of us, that would be a different story. We have no way of knowing how long that bison has been dead. Could be rotten inside already. Gross. All right, campsite. Old campsite, all right. Let's cook up some grub. It's gonna be fish head soup for dinner. That's all I've got. Hooey! That's a, that was a fine day of herding, if you ask me. Cattle were just lining up for me today. Though that's natural, I suppose. If you've got some decent grub tonight, I'd be much obliged. I need to get some strength back before we go out. Feeling pretty good today. I think I still, I'm still holding my own with the cattle work. Good job, honey. For the cowboys. Uh, well, I guess we have fish heads. We'll make some lovely fish head stew. <laughs> the light scent of the ocean wa wafts, wafts from the pot when it's open. The fish heads were simmered for quite some time to create a nutritious fish broth. 
Now that was good eating. She really likes fish. That hit the spot just right. Oh, yeah. Me too, honey. I'm not a fan of fish. You know, I'm actually full already. I'll just uh, put the rest of this back. Maybe let my horse try it. Sorry, Vicente. Well, we best be heading to bed now. You need to be up bright and early to wrangle the cattle. Don't forget to look after yourself as well. If we can get health back up. Tend to the sick. Party spends the night evening tendering to their worst injuries. Poor Robert got popped by a stray bullet. All right, let's see if we can get some, I don't know, something besides fish heads. Poor Vicente didn't like that. Hygiene is down. Let's repair this real quick. We'll apply, apply the grease. What does this do? A wooden case containing a music instrument. Play a song at campsites to restore morale. Okay. Uh, do we need three hygiene for anybody yet? No. We're just barely dirty. Okay. Oh, we've met up with our drovers again. We found ourselves in a bad box here. The long This longhorn looks to be in a bad way, so we were just deciding what to do with it. We won't survive the journey in its current condition, but we might be able to treat it. If we don't cut it loose now, they'll make the rest of the herd sick for sure. Better to take care of the healthy stock than waste our time with the sick one, ones, I say. We could always take time to butcher it. Our cookies might appreciate the extra supply of meat, and I'm sure we'd appreciate whatever they cook with it. I'd appreciate your input. Well, if... Hmm. They really don't think it's going to survive. So, I mean, we could waste the time and let it rest, but he said it was sick, and he didn't. they didn't want it to spread to the other um, cattle, so let's just butcher it. Oh. She's going in to take care of it. Oh no, it made a sad cow sound. Hmm. The longhorn's carcass is dressed out and the meat salted. The cowboys make sure that the most of the meat is stored safely in the wagon for future meals. Meat, three awful. Julius's hygiene is down one. Okay. Our oxen are doing really well. Excellent condition. Excellent. Uh, hunting. Uh, is it squirrels? Are we hunting squirrels? I'm not very good at squirrel hunting. Just to let you. I am no Daryl Dixon. Yeah, we're not even gonna try that one. How do we get another hunt? Oops, I thought it would be. Yeah, let's shoot the deer. Oh, squirrel. I just, it's funny to me that we're shooting squirrels. There's not going to be any, there's not going to be any meat left. By the time you dig that buckshot out, there's not going to be anything to eat. You're going to be chewing metal. I'm more interested in getting pelts. Okay, well, carried 50 pounds back and two awful. Uh, yep, let's obtain the pelts. Okay, here we got eight pelts. We got a worn knife. I mean, I guess let's take the opportunity every time we get to cook for them, right? I don't know how. Oh, this isn't my cattle, this isn't my oxen. This is the cattle team, right? I was just about to ask, how do I know if the cattle team is um, doing well or not? But there, it must be what that is. 
A small mound of earth sits atop the path, flecks of dust, of trail dust strewn about by the wind. Ground has been disturbed recently, perhaps to bury a supply cache or something else. One might dig up the mound to uncover what lies below, or flatten the earth to hide the site forever. Well, it's probably a grave, so let's not dig it up. Let's just flatten it. So, Julius pats down the mound of earth, dirt, erasing the site from view and memory. Because otherwise, if we, um, oh, the wagon grease, that's beautiful. The wagon grease expired. If we see a grave, somebody buried, it's going to bring down our morale. An old campsite. Yep, set up the campsite. They're probably starving. Marvin's. Spirits are still pretty high on this drive. Well, mine are at least. That's what's important. Yeah, I'm not feeling too bad. I can start to feel myself slackening, slacking with the cattle. Okay, so he must not be good. Do we... I guess let's talk. We haven't done this yet. Vicente. We've already set a blazing pace on the trail, and working with the others is definitely interesting. Our styles are all pretty different, but that's what makes us a great team, right? I've not been on a cattle drive before, but I've certainly wrangled my fair share of wild animals. Meal preferences? Yeah, I've never really given that sort of thing much thought. Could you come back to me so I ha can have a uh, think about it? So I can have a think about it? Well, I guess we can talk to them all. We're pre prepared for the journey we have ahead of us. Don't be too concerned. As long as we've got the energy, we can take care of the cattle properly. I've got some experience on the Chisholm Trail. Though limited, and it should prove, hopefully prove useful. I didn't have much opportunity to try different foods growing up. I guess that's why I'm not sure where my inclinations lie. We can talk later and see if I have something more helpful for you. So nobody's picky so far. This your first time on a cattle drive, eh? Well, fear not. I've got no doubts about my skills, and I will always take care of my team. Used to manage the books for several cattle barons in Austin. That's where I realized how much money a wise rancher could make. The cattle stay healthy till out. Abilene. And we all get a decent cut of the pie. There's so much good food in the world, and honestly so much garbage. It's hard to even figure out which is which. Ask me next time, and maybe I'll have it sorted out. Okay, well, I guess I'll cook for y'all. We'll have menudo again. Or maybe, what if we do two offals and one fish head? What does that make us? Menudo as well? Yep, menudo blanco. Sometimes I feel like y'all know me better than my own family. Okay, they like it. They like it. All right. And what should we do? Let's do hygiene. Because this one, Julius, is a, is it Julius or Julian? He's neat, so Julius. Neat or finicky or something, refined. Closing in on Waco. Oh no. Violet has been scratching her stomach furiously. Seems she has been bitten, oops, sorry, by the many mites hiding in the grass along the trail. Alright, I guess we'll use some meat. S <laughs> Spread that squirrel meat that we got on you. And here we are in Waco.
Okay. Waco, Texas. We didn't have to cross a river, did we? Oh, this sits on a river. I was like, I thought there was some rivers we had to cross, but maybe not. General store. People gather to trade, barter, and celebrate in, wait, in the Waco Public Square, the social heart of the city. Ahead, the unfinished suspension bridge promises to make crossing the, Brazo the Brazos River far easier, transforming the city. All right, and that's where we'll end today. Next time we will continue on our way. Where are we heading next? Fort Worth. Dallas is somewhere around there then. Because it's Dallas-Fort Worth, isn't it? Maybe Dallas didn't exist back then. Who knows? Oh, this is just true. This, this is a longer one. Because this is just like one of two. So when we get to Red River Station, we have to keep going. Right? That's wild. I can't look, so. Anyway, that's as far as we're getting today. Um, so next time, we'll continue on. I appreciate everybody watching, and I hope everybody enjoyed it. And we'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.